Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Week for Last Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm gonna be popping this palette's cherry. It's the French one. <laughs> <laughs> from Nomad Cosmetics. The color story looks like this. It has little bees on it. Um, quite frankly, it's the Provence something, De Fay Provence or something. Um, I actually still don't know what the name of this palette is. But anyways, I couldn't pronounce really any of the words and I didn't Google any of them in the video, so sorry about that. I might Google them. You guys know I fucking will be like, what the fuck? I fucking can't. I can't. I can't. So anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, I just want you guys to know that this is like probably my second favorite color story that these guys have ever done. This is like, I, I like love this color story. I love every fucking color in this palette. It's so beautiful. Um, and honestly, it, beside the freezy flamey palette like this is my favorite color story like those two they're equal like I don't love this one more than that one but I love this one more than any other one besides that one that they've ever come out with so Nomad's just killing it and I, it's really just my pleasure to uh do this look so if you guys are interested in seeing how I got it or hearing my somewhat final thoughts on the palette after using it one time or if you perverted motherfuckers just like to watch then hang out. It's like if I say something dirty, I just get way more excited. I'm going to start with my refer number 14, and I'm going to go into the color Miel de Lavande. Mie, Mie de Lavande, de Lavande, yeah, Mie, yeah, I bet you that's what it is, maybe not, but, and I'm just going to go into the outer V-ish area because I'm actually just going to go above my crease with this, and this is going to be, uh, what do you call it? Oh yeah, a transition shade. Oh, these fucking little bees. I swear to God. Nomad, could you stop making these so fucking cute? Seriously. It's a nice yellow. start on the outside here and this yellow really I feel like changes the whole palette it like really adds something to it that makes it unique and fun looking and whatnot okay I'm gonna use my hmm how about my Voldemorphy M506 and I'm going to go into the color uh, Hot Alps. And I'm going to put that in the outer V and just kind of pack this all along just above my crease. To about right here. And I'm already primed with my P. Louise Primer and Rumor 02 BT dubs. Cute. Yeah, this is really doing what I wanted it to. You 
You know, I'm going to go with my original Instinct decision and use my uh, Made by Mitchell ME2 because I really need that to blend up a little bit better and I feel like the brush that I was using was just a little too dense. Pretty nice. I'm going to have to Google that fucking word. This looks so good. Honestly, this is like one of my favorite color stories that Nomad's ever come out with. I don't know what it is about like these kinds of color stories that are like just a little bit down like it's almost like a melancholy I know it's supposed to be like spring but it has those like cool tone like gray gray like lavender gray colors that are like actually a little bit sad I think and I'm gonna go into that yellow <laughs> that one yellow <laughs> that I'm gonna have to google shit well I guess that kind of goes with the territory of like a brand that bases all their themes on other places <laughs> so you get to learn a little bit about somewhere besides your ethnocentric fucking own world viewpoint that's nice That's fucking beautiful. Now I'm just gonna put a bunch of this into the outer V because I have some creasing here, but it's from my own neglect, not from. I don't know if this looks that good from where you guys are sitting, but fuck, from where I'm sitting, it looks fucking beautiful. Fucking perfection, look at that. I mean, obviously not in the crease, but like from the gray to the yellow. And that crease looks like poo. Like, not that it fucking matters. But if you ever want to know what the best brush to fill that shit in is, it's this fucking brush, dude. to see something here am I right or am I wrong about the best brush to fill that shit in don't fuck around Katie so this color is like dark enough to get dangerous if you fuck around with it too much like I can see myself like starting to get out of control so I'm just gonna go in with the yellow and really like lightly Get all my edges blent. I'm gonna go all the way up to the brow with this. And then what I'm going to do is something really cute. With my Refer 02, the brush that I really don't like to use for anything except this. And I'm gonna take this, oh. Marche de Provence. Provence. Marche de Provence. I took one semester of French and failed miserably. Mmm. That looks so fucking pretty. Mmm. Damn. I really like that. Cute. And what am I going to do? Take this Refer 03 or Refer 13 and just kind of blend out this. Oh. Okay, then, okay, what? 
I bet you anything if I use that yellow to blend out that purple it would look good. It's just that kind of purple. Mm, should I try it? I wasn't going to do anything, but I honestly just fucking, I'm just curious. Honestly, I'm just curious to see if they'll actually go together. Because I bet you anything, they kind of will. This yellow is like a dirty, dirty yellow. And it's a dirty, dirty girl. And that purple is almost gray. Here, let me see. Do I love it? I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. And we don't need to do it till we regret it, but just a teensy tiny. One more, one more. That looks fucking cool. I'm glad I did that. And I'm just gonna go back in with the purple and just kind of reinforce it right at the lash. Can you guys see it? I'm gonna go in with this gray and kind of. Nice. That looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna use my next glitter primer, but in one second here, because I think I'm gonna use Bouche du Rhone and Fleur de Mimosa. I'm going to put this NYX Glitter Primer on with my P. Louise cut, cre br cut Crease Brush first. And then I think I'm going to do the purple. Because here's what I was thinking. I was thinking since there really isn't a color that seems light enough to use as the inner corner highlight. But that doesn't make it so. Because this is the purple. That's pretty light. And this is the yellow. And I think they're both actually pretty light. So I'm going to go in with the purple with my... Unearthly Cosmetics 8.4, and I'm going to start with the Bouche, Bouche de Rhone. I don't know what that little thing at the top, I wish Anna was still here because she used to always tell me, but does somebody, somebody know what that little, like, over the O means? It's like a little roofy poo. <laughs> roofy poo. <laughs> you guys want to hear a funny story? <laughs> about roofies no just kidding there's no funny stories about roofies one time I had this chick with me and um, we pulled up to my house and there was this like fucking Harley rider so in my hometown like the biker gang is called what the fuck is it called oh the Cossacks there was this motorcycle in front of my house when we pulled up and so I was like I didn't recognize it I had no idea who it was Ooh, this color is super fucking pretty too it has like a greeny shift to it. What? Surprise! <laughs> anyway, I, I got this chick with me who's like kind of a friend, but like, I don't know, more like a friend of me. And um, she's like, oh my God, that's such and such. I don't remember who she said it was. He fucking roofied my drink one time. And I was like, what? And he's like this biker and we're supposed to like be like whatever with bikers. So we go into my house and he's like da 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 like talking around and acting like Mr. Cool Guy and I go dude did you fucking roofie her drink? And he goes what? And then he looked at her and he goes such and such a name and he goes dude did you tell her I roofied your drink? And I go no but seriously can you even get roofies? And, and he was like or no, I think I called it GHB. I was like, can you even get like GHB? And he's like, no. And I was like, not anywhere. And he's like, no. And I was like, fuck, man. I've been having a really hard time getting high lately. And I was hoping you could get some GHB so I could put it in my shit and actually get high. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was like, huh? <laughs> Oh, but don't tell anybody I told you guys that story. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm just like going back and forth because this yellow has really caught me by surprise. Thanks, Nomad. I love surprises. And 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like, you know, the Tokyo Harajuku palette had like such like surprising shimmers and I don't know if it was like the era. Like there just wasn't, you just didn't really find as much back then that was like this fucking good but now it's like everything is so good. Or if they actually were like really, um, really different and, and like unique in a, in a way that like, you know, they haven't really had any shimmers since then. But it seems like I just, they just haven't really had shimmers like that. And I'm not like talking shit on Nomad. I wonder if that's true or if that's just my, my take. I haven't actually gotten every Nomad palette that has come out. Um, but I actually have been getting quite a few of them recently. Their launches have been fucking killer in the last, I don't know, their last, I, I feel like I picked up a lot of their last launches. There for a while I wasn't really picking up their launches just because their color stories weren't really speaking to me. But all of their launches recently have been so good. Mm, I love that. Okay, so here's the dealio. Mm, that looks so pretty. You know what? I need to get this higher because it's kind of sinking down into my... There we go. There. Okay. Okay, that I can live with. Now, what... Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my Alter Ego number 7 and I'm going to go into the color Savon de Marseille 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 uh yeah Mar Marseille Savon de Marseille I bet maybe never mind I'm not gonna bet <laughs> nobody take that bet anyways I'm taking that and I'm putting it on my lower lash line just because I just want to see mm -hmm. pretty and then just kind of I was thinking I was either gonna do, I wanna, I just wanna go like this. Yellow. There we go. Not because they weren't blending, I just wanted to do it. I've been really liking, enjoying getting my fingers dirty more lately. And your fingers work so good. It's crazy how good your fingers work. And I used to just not do it because I didn't like to get my fingers dirty, but... And also, I understand that, like, when I use my fingers, it kind of gives an unclear picture of, like, how the shadows perform because I almost never use my fingers. But I've just been doing it more and more lately. Pretty. Mmm. That's so good. Okay. Okay, so do I want to use, I think I'm going to use Solar Sailor as my inner corner highlight just because, what? <laughs> I don't know where the thing went. My Voldemorphy JH39 pencil brush and I'm going to use Solar Sailor as my inner corner highlight. Hmm. Yeah, that looks so pretty. And pretty. That looks really good. And I use quite a few colors, actually. Um, the fact that the yellow shifts to green doesn't exactly match what I got going on here, but oh, fucking well. It still was a nice surprise. Surprise! Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So, this is the manifesto, the pièce de résistance. 
I use my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs in Slayer and my NYX Slide On Glide On All Day Hard On in Glitzy Gold and Solar Sailor as my highlighter. And then, okay, so I need to talk about the fact that I ordered... So when I was looking at the lip glosses, like I liked them all, but I couldn't get them all. Like I just couldn't justify it. And so I loved the lighter color ones, but I knew for a fact that I wasn't gonna wear them. And so I ordered the two brightly colored ones. I knew that these were gonna be the ones that I wear more like on the regular, just because they're like more my style. But as I did this look and I was looking at them, like they don't match this look at all. And so I'm kind of annoyed that I honestly didn't want to use them because they didn't match. So now I'm super annoyed because I wish I would have got the other colors so that they would have matched this look a little bit better. But what I did use was my Notoriously Morbid in Mourn, which looks amazing and matches perfectly. So I, you know, it's just like I wanted to use these glosses and they're going to be super pretty. I just, they didn't match this look. So I couldn't do it. Honestly, like I'm wearing this cute little like funeral dress. <laughs> I'm wearing this cute little funeral dress that doesn't match these happy colors at all. But uh, that's not because like, like I wanted to wear them. They just don't match. So um, I wish I would have got the other colors just to wear with this look. And I should have known. But I just knew that if I had those ones and I didn't have these ones, like I probably wouldn't wear those ones as often because they're just a little bit... Uh, toned down. So anyways, I love the look. I think this looks amazing. And honestly, I'm really stoked that I'm really stoked about this palette. The other thing I did want to point out is this. This is what it came with. It came like this with a piece of paper and not a fucking piece of plastic. So that's nice. And um, I just appreciated it and I saved it because I appreciated it so much. So thanks Nomad for giving a fuck about that shit. Um, yeah, so I don't actually have my final thoughts on the palette, but the, I mean, the look speaks for itself. I had a really good time with it. The shimmers are, I think, probably better. They're, they're good. The shimmers are better than the shimmers that I've used in a while. Um, I kind of went in and instead of using my finger on the other eye, I went in and just really dug. Like, not to be like, not to say that, but I like actually like went like this with my brush and got like more product on it and, and didn't use my finger on the other eye. So... They basically look the same. Um, I'm super happy with this look. And so anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boy's charm. And hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. If you got like halfway through this video and you're like, oh my God, this girl's so pretty until she opens her big fucking mouth, then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram. And if you were like, don't sugarcoat it, Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Then go check out my Patreon because on my Patreon, I really kind of let loose and that's where I actually um, have, you know, the ability to say the things that I can't really say on my channel. So if you guys are interested in going and checking it out, the link to my Patreon is in the description box listed below. Oh, also, if you guys are interested in getting these earrings, I actually have a link, an Amazon link listed below because they're fucking cute and they're super affordable. Well, I mean, they're affordable if you buy your earrings. If you buy your gauges from a, like, shop, like a tattoo shop in your hometown, I guarantee to you these are fucking more affordable. I was actually gifted these by a friend, but I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can get them on Amazon. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me, and I totally appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Did I say hang out with me in the comments? Because I fucking love it. Because I do. Later. So, um, if you guys are interested, the uh, the link for my Patreon is in the description.